This video instruction is for ratio and proportion quiz four, inverse variation. If two quantities y and x change so that their product is constant, that is y1 times x1 is equal to y2 times x2, they are said to vary inversely. This relationship between the two quantities is called inverse variation. This means that if one quantity increases, the other decreases and vice versa, so that their product is always the same. Compare this with direct variation where the ratio of two quantities is always the same. And consider the following data. And note that y varies inversely of x because the product is always 48, a constant. This relationship may also be written as xy is equal to 48 or y is equal to 48 over x. Inverse variation can be written as x1 times y1 is equal to x2 times y2 or y1 over y2 is equal to x2 over x1 and you look at this with the pulley system uh, inverse variation think about this if this pulley b here is on a fan and you want the fan to go faster you would think bigger pulley faster fan no bigger pulley fan goes slower, the smaller the pulley, the faster the fan would go, inverse. And here is the relationship diameter of pulley A to the RPM of A is equal to the diameter of B and the RPM of B. So in the example number one, we have a small pulley or gear, it looks like, is 11 inch diameter, the large one is 20 inches in diameter, how many RPM does a small pulley make, or how many re revolutions per minute RPM does a small pulley make if the large one rotates 44 times? Well, the ratio is, a, is 20 to 11. So 11x is equal to 20 times 44. 20 times 44 divided by 11. So the smaller pulley would actually make 80 revolutions per minute when the larger is going 44 revolutions per minute. Um, it, it says in a gear relationship, the number of teeth for A and the number of teeth for B, uh, that would be how, how those are determined. Uh, a large gear with 14 teeth rotates at 40 RPM, turns a small gear with eight teeth, how fast does the small gear rotate? And again, the calculation here comes down to 70 RPM. Um, the uh, advantage of a lever is force on each end and then the distance between the fulcrum on each end. Lever principle relationship is force one, distance one is equal to force two, distance two, force one, distance one, force two, distance two. And in this example here, a man places one end of the lever under a large rock. He places the second rock under the lever two feet from the first rock and as to act as a fulcrum. He exerts 100, 180 pounds of force at a distance six feet from the fulcrum, six feet from here to where he's putting uh, force. The maximum weight of the rock that could be lifted. If we take the formula, it's force one, which is the unknown, times two feet, and 180 pounds at six feet. That comes out to 540 pounds. We could lift a 540 pound rock by exerting 180 pounds of force. Uh, question number one on the quiz you're getting ready to take is about a hydraulic pump driven by an electric motor. The motor is rotating at 1400 RPM. Pump is equipped with a 9-inch diameter pulley, and the motor is running at 2,100 RPMs. What is the diameter of required for the motor pulley? So you know the speed of the motor. You know what the speed you want on the pump and the diameter of the pulley. Now we got to determine the diameter of the motor pulley. So inverse variation, x1 times y1 is equal to x2 times y2 or y1 over y2 is equal to x2 over x1. 
We know the uh, pump is 14, we want 1400 RPM with a nine inch pulley. The motor we have at 2100 RPM, but we don't know the motor, motor pulley diameter. We need to find that. So we do the calculation here. Nine times 1400 is 12,600. If we divide both sides by 2100, now we end up with a six inch motor pulley diameter. In question number seven, we, we need to calculate the X and Y values. Uh, for the X value, we know the diameter of 49 centimeters, 460 RPM, is equal to X centimeters times 980 RPM. So we do the, the, the math here. 49 times 460 is equal to X times 980. 22,540 divided by 980 comes out to 23. Now the bottom one here, 25 times 900. 72 times are unknown. 22,500 divided by 72 comes out to 312.5. Here's our answer right here. X is equal to 23. Y is equal to 312.5. Uh, last example here. This is the... Um, uh, lever with the fulcrum and we're going to draw and draw a sketch the, and, and solve the problem. A piece of machinery weighs two tons. A ton is 2,000 pounds so machine total weight is 4,000 pounds. It is balanced by two men whose combined weight is 400 pounds. Here's the two men, 400 pounds at this end of the lever. The piece of machinery is placed 20 inches from the fulcrum the center of the machine is 20 inches from the fulcrum. How far from the fulcrum must the two men exert their weight in order to balance it? So we need to balance it with 400 pounds, but we need to know how far we need, how much of the uh, board or, or, or pipe needs to be on this side of the fulcrum. So the formula, force one, distance one, equals force two times distance two. Here we have force one, 4,000 pounds, distance one, 20 inches. And over here we have force two, 400 pounds, and the unknown distance. So we do the math, 80,000 divided by 400 is equal to 200 inches. There's your answer there. You have 17 more questions to go in ratio and proportion quiz number four.